Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It's Thursday and my face is all numb and shit. I just got back from the dentist. Three fillings all on top. So now this side of my face is matching this side where I had the surgery. I still can't feel this side of my face. You could punch me over here as hard as you want. No matter. That, that feeling is never coming back. Uh, this will come back, I hope, though. Anyway, uh, I'm loopy, too. Man. Mm -hmm. Is this real life? Anyway, I got a request uh, to demonstrate, show step-by-step -step how to put an external pedal like this full-tone GT500 in, uh, in one of the uh, Helix loops. Super easy to do. There's a couple of ways, and I'll show you what, uh, what I'm doing with it. Um, chances are I won't be using it live, just because uh, I don't think it sounds better than the, uh, the built-in compulsive drive, which I really enjoy. So, but that's not, not to say you might uh, have other pedals that you like better than, the, than this full-tone GT500, shall we? Okay, all we have to do to connect this Fulton GT500 to the Line 6 Helix is uh, the in goes to uh, from the, uh, I'm using loop number one, uh, the loop send to the in, the out to the return, which is right next to it. It's like uh, boom, boom. And they don't go up and down like the, the G system did. There was like one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, blah. So that's the way it's connected. And we're going to go over to the Helix. I'm going to show you what to do internally and then play some sounds. <laughs> Alrighty, I've got my Union Jacks 1 preset here. I've, I've uh, made a clone of it, put it uh, in a different uh, lo hidden location. And now I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. So we just press down on the, on the, uh, press the joystick, come down to send returns using a mono and you can do it with uh, the send and return, or you can just grab an effects loop. So this one's run into effects loop one. And let's uh, bypass it real quick. I'll play you what's, uh, what's going on. Actually, let me uh, plug my guitar in first. Jesus, don't get ahead of yourself there, Sparky. Cripes. Okie dokie. Now, here is the sound of the guitar uh, with the bypass, or the uh, effects loop bypass. <laughs> And it's basically just the, uh, you know, the amp models. Turn up to 6.6 .6 and uh, with some modulation on it and EQ and all that shit. But uh, setting, I don't know how to deal with the trails is. Huh, it's noisy when the trails are on. Let's keep, let's keep the trails off. Uh, now let's uh, unbypass it. Pretty cool. Uh, it's a little bit noisy. Now here's the other way to do it. Let's uh, clear that block. Now what we want to do is, in front of this, I'm going to grab, send and return, send one, put it in front of that, the uh, a compressor, and then the return. I'll demonstrate why I'm doing this in a minute. Now we'll grab return one, turn the mix up to 100%, and then play it. I find that to be a little bit tighter. Now if we uh, take this and move it in front of a little bit bottom a little bit uh, more bottom endy feeling to me I like it's the sound of it better over here and 
it's not a super high gain pedal. I've got the, uh, the drive at about three quarters. I've got the uh, mid-range turned all the way off on it. Um, rolled up some of the highs and the uh, bottom end. So those are the two ways. Let me bypass the pedal real quick. just on the boost section of the pedal. Kind of cool. But uh, yeah. Uh oh, I just had an idea. Anyway, those are the two ways to put a pedal in the loop. Super easy. Uh, I like this method right here with the uh, compressor in the middle of the effect of the uh, send and return. But that's just me. You might not dig that. But uh, try it with your pedals. Give her a listen and, uh, you know, incorporate some pedals into your action. Shit. There you go. Good time pedal loop action. Feels really weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, super easy to do. Uh, it probably doesn't help that I've got 35 feet of cable running this GT500 into, uh, you know, one of the loops. But, you know, it's not going to, it's basically, that. all that does is take away a little bit of, of high end, which I'm all for doing anyway. But um, if you've got some pedals you like, go for it. It's a cool, uh, fun thing that you can do. Uh, I remember the uh, in the G-System days, the G-System actually powered your pedals. It had uh, little power plugs that you could, uh, you know, power your pedals as well as run them in the loops. That way... You could have a fully contained uh, pedal board without having to have, you know, a power strip and wall warts and all that bullshit. Super slick. Uh, I was kind of hoping the Helix might have that, but it's fine since I'm not running external pedals. Except for today. But there you go. I will see you tomorrow. And I'm going to be back with some more of the Greta Van Fleet presets, which I have decided is going to be a free preset package because those guys just don't have enough... Uh, unique sounds. That guy plays basically the same sound on everything. There will either be a big reverb on it or just a little bit of room reverb. So I'm going to give you some options. And, you know, sometimes he'll use a rotary sound. I got that option already covered. So I'm going to put together the rest of these tomorrow. It'll be probably four presets total. And then I'll just put it into a little, it'll be a, a free preset zip file that you can download from my website, scottminch.com. And uh, that way nobody nobody will have to pay for them. Because I don't feel good about people paying for a preset package where it's all just got a few unique sounds. I, I like that there's a bunch of different stuff in, in my, all of my preset packages that cover you know a wide range of things, except for the Def Leppard one. That's a very specific group of sounds. But they were, you know, still a lot of sounds. Ooh. Anyway. I'll be back tomorrow with some more free shit for you. So, until then, rock on.